Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Would You Rather. So, in one of my Happy Wheels videos a couple weeks ago, I played a Would You Rather level, and I asked you guys, would you like to see a video of me playing Would You Rather? And you guys said you really wanted to see it. So, if you guys want to see more of this, best way to let me know is hit the like button or let me know in the comments. And we got a question already. So, here's the first Would You Rather question. Would you rather constantly have a 40 pound weight on your shoulders or constantly have 10 pound weights on each of your feet that's 20 pounds altogether on the feet the first thing i'm wondering is what are these weights looking like what do they look like is it like <laughs> the, the first thing i'm picturing is you know those little like those neck pillows that you wear <laughs> when you're going on a flight i'm imagining like a neck pillow shaped 40 pound weight on your shoulders and then for the 10 pound weights i'm imagining like ankle weights or something and ankle weights normally are not 10 pounds i believe 10 pounds is a lot of weight so to have that on your feet that is a lot but i'm thinking i'm thinking i'd rather have the weight on my feet because if i'm wearing 40 pounds on my shoulders that weight is going through my whole body it's weighing on my back hips knees ankles everything but if it's on your feet it's just on the feet, so you don't even feel it in your back, shoulders, anything like that. So I'm going with the feet. Plus, you'd probably get used to it after a while. So let's go with this. Let's see if we get got the majority. Oh my goodness, 73%. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what do we got next? Oh my goodness. If you're in a horror movie, would you rather be thrown into a snake pit or be thrown into a spider pit? Why does it say if you were in a horror movie? Isn't it just like whether or not you're in a horror movie, it'd be horrible to be thrown into a snake pit or a spider pit. Ah, oh, okay, here's the question. Are the snakes venomous? Are the spiders venomous? I don't know. Let's say they're both not venomous. Whew. Oh my goodness. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Um, I hate snakes, but I think I hate spiders even worse. Spiders are the worst, man. I think I would rather be thrown into the snake pit. Let's say they're both non-venomous, and we're in a movie, so I'm just acting. Okay, dude, I can't believe it. I actually thought more people would be would rather be thrown into the spider pit. Dude, okay, okay, yeah, spiders are horrible. Oh my goodness, would you rather play a game of one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan or play a game of one-on-one -on -one with Kobe Bryant? Guys, growing up, Michael Jordan was my idol. I had Michael Jordan jerseys. I wore Chicago Bulls shirts, hats, everything. <laughs> I had his shoes. I still get Jordan shoes every once in a while. Um, it's For me, it's Michael Jordan 100%. It'd be cool to play one-on-one -on -one with Kobe Bryant. Like... You know, he's good and stuff, but Michael Jordan's my man. I'm interested to see what the percentages are on this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, I had a feeling it would be overwhelmingly in favor of Michael Jordan. But, dude, that would be sweet. That would be a dream come true growing up. Oh, my goodness. If you were convicted of a crime, would you rather go to jail for life or have the death penalty. Also guys, let me know in the comments your responses for some of these. I wanna know which you would choose with a lot of these questions. Okay, so if you were convicted of a crime, would you rather go to jail for life or have the death penalty? Okay, here's the thing. If you go to jail for life, that's horrible. That's really bad, but <laughs> I'm thinking of the Office episode. Remember the Office episode, if you watch The Office, where the guy was talking about when he went to jail and it actually wasn't too bad? I think depending on the prison you're in, it could be pretty good, but it depends on what the crime is. If you're in like a minimum security prison, it might not be too bad. I've heard it's pretty nice. Plus like you can work out all the time, get nice and buff. It's not great. It's definitely not great. I wouldn't want it. But it'd probably be, I'd probably prefer it over the death penalty. Plus, you can, like, you can still talk to people. So, I'd probably rather go to jail for life. Holy crap! What? People would rather have the death penalty than go to jail for life? Dude, I don't know. Maybe if they're thinking, like, maximum security, a maximum security prison, I'd understand. Here's a good one. Would you rather be sucked into Terraria or be sucked into Minecraft? Okay, I are they talking about, like sucked into the game like where you're in the game or be addicted into it. I think it's asking like be sucked into the Minecraft or Terraria world. I haven't really played a lot of Terraria so I'm I'm just going to go with Minecraft plus it's 3D. You know, if I'm going to be in a in a digital video game world, I want to be in a 3D world. What's 
What's going on? Why is the percentage going up so slow? Okay, 80% Minecraft. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, this is an interesting one. Would you rather have extremely muscular arms or have extremely muscular legs? So I'm assuming this is saying you have extremely muscular one or the other, and the other is like not so muscular. I think I'd go with arms because you see them more. Like, let's say you're wearing a t-shirt and jeans. You don't really see the legs. The legs are just covered by jeans. So if you have these muscular legs and no one sees them, what's the point, right? I don't know. I'm going to go with arms. Okay, 68%. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, you're going to see them more. Okay, would you rather be in jail for a year or live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year? This kind of goes back to the question, what kind of jail are we talking about? Minimum security prison or maximum security prison? I don't know. Both wouldn't be ideal, but honestly, I gotta say living in complete isolation in the mountains for a year, that does actually doesn't sound too bad. Like, okay, I actually like privacy. I know some people who are like, oh, I can't go, you know, an hour just being alone. I kind of like my alone time. So living in isolation in the mountains for a year, I would miss my family. I would miss my friends, my girlfriend. Like, I would miss everybody so much. But I think there's something nice about having some alone time. I think I would go with this for sure. Okay, okay, yeah, so it looks like most people agree. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, would you rather die from hypothermia cold or would you rather die from hyperthermia heat? That's a good question. I like talking to people about this. Like, usually I'll just ask, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to be like overly hot or overly cold if you had the option? And I feel like a lot of times people say, oh, I'd rather be like really, really cold than really, really hot. Here's the thing with me though, okay, it's really uncomfortable and sweaty to be hot, but when you're cold, it hurts, it's painful. Like, I live in Michigan, and in the winter, it is so, so cold, bitter cold, and it causes pain. Like, it's painful. But in the summer, when it's like really hot, it's uncomfortable, you're sweating, you feel gross, but I'd rather feel gross than pain. <laughs> so. For me, I would probably go with the heat. I think this is gonna be different than most people. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know. People don't understand how painful it is to be cold. <laughs> I don't know, that's just me though. Oh wow, would you rather have a giant birthmark covering 78% of your face or have a two foot tail? These are very interesting. I, ah, I wouldn't want either. But here's the reason why I got my interest. I feel like if you have the tail, that's one step closer to being a Saiyan. <laughs> if you don't watch Dragon Ball Z, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But in Dragon Ball Z, the Saiyans have tails and they can transform into these like huge giant monkeys. And they can also transform into Super Saiyans. But the thing is, it would be really weird. That would be weird. Well, you could get the tail cut off. And that's what they do. So yeah, um, let's go with the tail. You just get it cut off later on 81%. That's a lot of people who want to be Saiyans. Okay, let's do a couple more. Would you rather slam your hand in every door or fall down every flight of stairs? <laughs> that would be hilarious. That would be really, really funny. It would get old really quickly. Man, slam your hand into every door. A lot of these, it depends. It really depends. How hard is it, is it getting slammed? Is your hand getting like demolished? Are you like breaking bones? Or is it just like, ow, oh, that hurt? You know, that kind of thing. If falling down a flight of stairs, that's really dangerous. You could die from that. You can't die from slamming your hand in every door. I'm going with that for sure. Wow, that's close. 51%? 49% falling down every stairs. Flight of stairs, you could die falling down flights of stairs. Okay, that's crazy. Oh my goodness, this one is making me so hungry. Would you rather eat only KFC for a month or eat only Taco Bell for a month? Now, I personally don't eat a lot of fast food at all. I rarely eat fast food, but I do like KFC and I do like Taco Bell. Here's the thing. With Taco Bell, I think I would enjoy the food more, but with KFC, I feel like I, there's more options of things that I like there. With Taco Bell, I usually just get a couple things. I usually get like only soft tacos, or I just branched out to getting the cheesy gordita crunch. But with KFC, there's a lot of things I like there. Plus, right now I eat a lot of chicken. It's high in protein, so that would be good. 
Man, this is a tough one. Oh, I just remembered though. Taco Bell has their breakfast. The Taco Bell bre breakfast is so good. Okay, we're going with Taco Bell, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, KFC won. That is crazy. Man, this was so much fun. I'm so glad we did this, guys. So like I said, if you want to see more of this, best way to let me know is hitting the like button or just let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments some of your guys' choices on these. I want to hear your choices and explanations. This was really fun. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next Would You Rather. You're a blade expert? Well, I'm a bike expert. Oh, I'm actually not a bike expert. Is that a monster in the ground eating that man? Oh, fight 10 UFC fighters one at a time. Well, that sounds pretty bad. Or fight five sumo fighters at the same time.